As a big fan of Roger Federer, I always dreamed to be a tennis court with 20k people watching from me and the seats and the millions at home. Unfortunately, I really play well only with the keyboard. But thanks to the Tennis Manager 2022 from French developer and publisher Roundbound CG, I can finally feel a bit of that. So before we start, you can check if you're subscribed to our channel. If you're ready, let's go! Tennis Manager 2022 is the continuous of the great series about tennis management. But does it bring something new to the series? Is it a big step? Or is it something that maybe will be an update, just a current type of game? Anyway, let's try to dive deep into that. Tennis Manager 2022 offers a unique perspective of the sport that provides enough ways to mold your players and keep up to date with their progress over time and things really interestingly. The game's tutorial do a lot of heavy lifting in explaining of how various aspects of your performances can affect their progress, and there is an option of taking the reins as much as illegal as you can take as the months and year pass. The downside, as you may expect from a game where you don't swing the racket yourself, is that the graphics and physics are lacking compared to other tennis titles. The customization and creating of your manager plane is a little bit thin as well, making it difficult to help anyone stand out in a takeable way. So let's dive deep a little bit into graphics. I think the graphics is not really very important in management type of games, but anyway, it is in 2022 quite an interesting thing because you would like the game to be attractive. Graphic-wise, Tennis Manager 2022 doesn't offer much in the department, both in the court and off court your management players and academy. It is functional for sure, but its color scheme, well, it feels really boring to look. It is a big no-no when you spend most of the time playing this game, starting at the multiple menus and charts. The overall layout also confusing and really navigate, and this is probably also really unapproachable to the newcomer of the franchise. So very important part here, that the game is not only in graphical way where you wanna see the player, but in the way where it's really practical, in the menus, in the menus and UI stuff is, I would say, quite hard to navigate to. Also, for some reason, there is few times when the ball definitely goes out of your reach of your opponent rocket, but they can still hit the ball back, and I think it's a big miss. Because there is only a small part of the really graphical part that you need to fix, and it's not being really well made, so it's a big no-no to the game. There's a lot of sounds in the game, and game music sounds boring and repetitive to what is worse is that the only one in the entire game. Yet the most glaring thing that is when you're holding a press conference, there is no atmospheric sounds, like the sounds of the camera shutters or the Peter patter or some journalists that are trying to speak or something. The atmosphere in game is quite poor. And this was always a problem for the Tennis Manager series. And I think this is something that they need to focus, to be more immersive. When the game is more like a structure, I would feel like this is a... I don't know. It would be maybe really very very hypothetical, but you can compare game to something like Microsoft Excel. Yeah, I mean it sounds stupid, but believe me, there is point in it. You don't feel an atmosphere of the game when you don't see the players are playing, you don't see the sounds, and stuff like that. Anyway, even when you win a match, the celebration sounds and the cheer sounds of the celebratory, they are all quite poor. One way to enjoy the game is to turn off in game music and play a podcast music or just enjoy something on the back. Performance wise, I would encounter several crashes and the game sometimes freezes with a couple of the seconds, but I think this is something that can be fixed. Uh, the fixes will be really quite quick because I believe the company is doing a really great job at fixing things at least. Well, we're probably not gonna see the sounds in the game or maybe hear them, I would say. But the things like crashes, they can be fixed for sure. So lastly, I would say something about the most that the game feels unfinished and polished. Basically, that's how I play Tennis Manager. You can create a lot of things in the game, there is a lot of good things, but they all being covered by the fact that the game is not really polished. There is nothing really much to do than just bare band and the limit. Rangering from its gameplay aspects to sound contests inside the game, it feels like Happy Dory but put together. While the gameplay offers a complex and rewarding gameplay, there is nothing to bring about it. Sure, it can get past some underwhelming aspects of the game, I'm sucker of same games, but I cannot say the same with the Tennis Manager. I cannot recommend really this game. If you wanna play this, guys, 
yeah, you can play it, but I would recommend to wait for some improvements, and believe me, they will be. I believe in that. There is a ton of things that you do when you and you cannot do when you're creating a player and manager. For example, there is always some stack of pictures uh, that can be used as to create the perfect character or whatever. But there is one big cool thing in this game. Thanks to the partnership with the real companies, there is a lot of kind of clothes and equipment that you can wear and have your player looking like a performing at their best. In fact, signing the contracts with this company so that the year where the brand of shoes or the whatever kind of thing is a way to make a little bit more money while adding some style and finesse to your player program. With the companies like Isaacs, Wilson and Lacoste represented, you'll be able to work with some of the most reputable names on the tennis as you are getting bigger in draw. The shoes and the racket, as the player uses, will serve more than a cosmetic purpose too as they can give you attribute boosts in the categories like backhand power, the footwork respectivity, and all these kind of things. Well, I wouldn't call it pay to win, but it's something cool. Okay, this is joke aside. When you're creating your character, like I said, it is quite disappointed that you can only find few assets selected, bunch of the photographs of random people, and random having a creation. Even if the game would have some poor creation like in Sims 3, I don't know, it would really be cool. Even Sims 2, well, even Sims 2 would be fine. Because it's not about the graphics, but it's about atmosphere. But I mean, it's always lazy that you can actually make the game, like I said, in Microsoft Excel. And it wouldn't be that much worse. So, finishing note about the Tennis Manager 2022. Well, I have to say thanks for providing the copy that we have for the game. But, honestly, I was quite disappointed with how much of a lack of an effort that the game presented this year. Atmosphere, vibe, and all these kind of things, they were poorly realized. And I hope that updates will at least fix performances of the game. And there is a lot of work in the future. Thank you everyone for watching this video and I'll see you in the next one. Ciao!